Hi Trini. Hi Jemima, how are you darling? Great, thank you. Well, look at this rail. I know, it's very print, which is what we're doing today, but we're gonna do sort of that perennial thing called print clash. I wake up some days and I do decide, do I wanna be plain or print? You do that ever? I do that. Yeah, you're wearing a beautiful print dress today. We've got to show you. it later. It's really cute. I always advise, however little space you have, you can find a tiny rail and bring things from different parts of your one wardrobe, or if you have things dotted around your home, bring them together in one place. This is a rail we're going to do today, which goes through lots of different prints together and colours and how to choose. This is where I keep my plain colours. And in here, this is where I usually put one side sort of print, stripes, checks, and the other side plain and I do the same with dresses because some days I feel like a print dress and some days I feel like a plain dress so I kind of have mainly plain this side and print this side. It's so curated I love it. What are you wearing today? So this is um Utiku, Utiku. I never know how to pronounce it. They also have this top and I got this top now this top actually has a big bib all right oh wow but for the purposes of my sort of print clash day i felt that was all quite a lot there's no principles here as to colors that go really well together there are always has to be some connection so the connection to me in this outfit is that the the prints going on are about the same size and i think having proportion in print size is really important when you're doing a print clash it's got the energy and fun so there's a real like you expect don't expect check to be in a, in a bright green and as a knitted top this is as mad as you can get so i love that combination me too yeah and then i've just done like a little sort of sasha lip and the the ends of a smoky eye so i've just let the clothes do the talking and a brightness enough to the lip that i'm not washed out by the colors great okay. first outfit thank you darling all right next next now this is like a little miracle because i had these trousers forever they're really old top shop and i love that 70s flare the top is Phoebe and Grace this season. And if you look, it's got so many similar colors. So there's that goldeny color there, and there's the green, and there's the black. Oh, you'd think they're made by the same company. You would, wouldn't you? <laughs> genius. <laughs> it is quite genius. I'm very excited. And then with this, I'm thinking I wouldn't do like a bright pink, but I might do like a nice sheer shimmer. So I'm going to do Nicole and then just pop my cheek a bit. I just want to have that strength of a sort of blusher which becomes a cheekbone product, which becomes a highlighter, which is what Nicole Sheer Shimmer really is. Mm. So I've done a whole face, changed my face with one product. You're so right about prints diffusing prints. Do you do the half tuck with prints as well? I had it all tucked in. There's that kind of, you know, here's one print and here's the other. And just having that little bit there, you just have the elongation of the leg and it just is a little bit cooler. And with soft shirts, it's much easier to do if it's a first time thing for you to try. So chic. And they're both cut really well. I know they are, aren't they? I love the flares. Yeah, so I gotta wear them. <laughs> okay, next outfit. Next up, this is a really bright stripe. So before I show you the full outfit, I need to just change my lip because I want to go that cooler pink. It's the kind of pink that you think of that sort of 60s pink, but in a modern take. So it's got a bit more color to it and doesn't wash you out. I had a um, Camilla and Mark suit from Australia and S. Susanna copied it for me in a tweed. And I love this tweed, but I always found it difficult to wear things with them. In the past, how I've worn it actually is with the pink shirt, which I really like. But I noticed that this other Attico jumper had a few of those shades in it. So in fact, it's got the blue, it's got the purple, it's got the yellow, and it's got the green. And if I was sort of winterizing the look, or for those of you in Australia, New Zealand, Auckland, get out of black, um, you could do that. What about a bag? Oh, 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 oh. Talking about Australia, I could just do that. And then if it gets cold, then I just go plain again. Um, and do yellow, and do yellow, yellow, which I could. You could. Yeah, I could. Um, I could also consider bringing some of that green in. That's nice. Which is quite nice, isn't it? Should we just see if that's yeah. all too much? You know what was wrong is I had it like this, which makes it look like a shawl. Mm. So these tiny details are so important because that across is like, you know, grandma shawl. So it's so important you tuck in and you don't have that grandma moment and all the colour gets to the centre. Mm. I love the pink of the sleeve popping out. It's nice. Matches the mirror. Oh. They're like ice cream colours, but with the green. <laughs> That's how you like them. Napolitano, here we come, Jemima. <laughs> Next outfit. This is interesting. I'm going to try it two different ways. But maybe before I try it, how is that? I don't think that mirror's going to work with the beige. It's not really working. It's like making me wash out. And yeah. Work. Let's fix the makeup first, then I'm going to show it tucked in. 
and out. And then I'm going to try some darker shades. I'm going to do Katinka, which is a really good colour I don't use often. Whenever I wear Katinka, I realise how much I love it. It is a lip love, so I shouldn't put it on my cheeks, but I'm putting it on my cheeks. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the eyes, which really you shouldn't do either, but I'm just doing it. But transformation, immediate. You could wear like this, and lots of people would think, great shirt, because it's going to cover my tummy and let me do that. And if you've got a long enough uh, trouser on you maybe could because this is going up but still you do look and from far away you could think my legs go from there to the floor so I need to get my waist back in proportion so I'm taking now the two colors that are in the trouser and this and I'm just putting this belt on it's a really old vintage Saint Laurent belt what do we think that really works yeah yeah and I haven't done that belted shirt over trousers for ages and if you are short-waisted you could do it with like a little thin gold belt but because I'm quite long-waisted I need the width of the belt to really draw in my waist I really feel good in that your legs look so long <laughs> I know I have got very high heels on I've got old Robert Clergery um, but the other way of course is to do a little tuck moment so as it's very thin fabric I can do that and this I can do that kind of soft half tuck what works, I think, Jemima, is the colours are similar because um, this top has the same size of print as the trouser. They both have a base of very dark midnight navy and then they both have a sort of neutral tones in them. This is lighter, but there's enough of that splodges of dark on light and splodges of light on dark. Such a good way to get out of black. Oh, isn't it just? That's brilliant. The best. Now, accessories. I'm just thinking what I'd wear with it. Because it's summery, I'm going to carry on that sort of biscuit beige moment and put the little Lutz Morris bag on with it because I think that just kind of softens the look. I could do the same in black, but I prefer to do any colour for the summer. And where's everything from, Trina? This is Acne, and this is about 15 years old. And these are Zara, and they're about eight years old. And I love the Katinka. And isn't the Katinka great? Such a great colour. Next outfit. This is Molly and me, indecisive. So these trousers, old Zara, you got them too, Jemima. Yeah. Let's complain about Zara sizing. Awful. Terrible. I've got either Victoria Beckham, or I've got, in fact, what I realised is Zara went and did that print, which they were very inspired by Marnie on. So let's try both and see what you prefer. Option one, which I wasn't sure about, but there's something really interesting about the fact that because the print is identical, you don't notice so much the difference in the shades. These are all bright primary colors and these are all kind of warm, softer, dirtier shades. But I quite like it with the Katinka. I especially like it. I was about to say the Katinka still works. <laughs> because you've got the brown there. Yeah. And that's the color I'd wear with it. Like Katinka wouldn't work with that. But you know what? Your eyes look so blue and it's reflected in the trousers as well. It is. Okay, let me just walk like that a bit more. <laughs> okay, so that's one look. This is many years old, Zara. But I, I know lots of Trini Tribe have it because I've seen you wear it and it's such a good shirt. And it, it really feels expensive. Yeah, I think which, it's a neckline. It's a neckline, isn't it? Yeah. And it's a length of sleeve and it's a volume of the fabric. Where has the old Zara we love gone to? Option number two, I love this shirt and I think you all love the shirt because it's my best colour but we mustn't be put off by that when we look at the whole outfit. There is the same blue and this is why because Molly chose this and said look the blue is the same so I think it's quite interesting it's a very different look what do you think? I do like it I think I preferred the first look mm. but I do love the lip love not sure Katinka is the right no, one. No Katinka I'd never wear Katinka with this shirt okay let me just change to what I wear with the shirt. <laughs> So I might just put Sasha on again. Sasha is the colour of the flamingos. What do you think, Jemima? Much better. No, look, have a look, then they can see your dress. How pretty is Jemima's dress? It's adorable. From Zara, this season. <sighs> okay, excellent. All right, is it going to make us change our idea of the outfit, though? Kind of. Kind of, but you prefer the other one, don't you? I do like it more with Sasha Lip Love. Yeah. What do you think, ladies? Option one or option two with the bluey look? Next outfit. This is actually put on for Rory because I want to show you, darling, the Tudor rough. <laughs> Carvin gorgeousness. This is interesting. I just don't know if it works. And there's a few reasons why. What we love is this combination of colors because it's sort of pastels having a party together. But the trousers are cropped and the shirt is very high. So the amount of fabric that's from here to here is quite a lot, which means my legs will look shorter. Look at it like this and look at it like that. 
Well, I didn't think it was bad before. I think I love the tailoring, but that's very clever. This just gives less fabric here for long body people and more fabric here. Do we think this works so far or not? Um, initially, I was about to say no, but from far away, I do like it. And then as I get closer, and you You're see the sure. little... The little lambs. <laughs> and it could be I'm a bit martiny. Anyway, now, do we like it? I really like it. Where is that trouser suit from? This is me and Em last year. But I think I might need something else with it to kind of bring the whole thing together somehow. It's so subtle, this, but this green, which is round, and then these are the same size, and they're round and they're the same green. So there's something I quite like about that. Mm, I do like that. Do you feel that you inspire yourself with your print clash? I'm so inspired by what I buy. I love the challenge of creating new outfits together in unexpected ways. And that's what print clash can do for you, is bring this renewed excitement back into your wardrobe. Mm. I'm going to start this off with how I used to wear it in the winter. Now this is a way I could wear it in the summer. This is a really old cost top and there's something that goes well in it, but it feels too unadorned at the top it's so busy at the bottom and there's a loudness in the print at the bottom and this is a very sort of quiet cost scandinavian print so i want to just give something more to the top so i thought this old necklace that i have from chloe which is i must say 20 years old but i just thought there's colors there which go in the skirt so if i bring that up how does that look really great i thought it was good before but that really completes it speaking of chloe yeah why don't we try some chloe lip to cheek that's such a good idea. You're a genius, Jemima. <laughs> and I'm just getting Chloe. Chloe. I never think of these colours in summer, but they can be good in summer. I'm just going to put it a bit on the eye too, and then I'm just going to blend with a big old brush everywhere, because also I'm a little bit sweaty, excuse me. Yes, that's good. The strength of that colour has made it work. Good shot, Jemima. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit of Lila, you know, just to lift it a little bit, and then I have Lila on. She's by Lila. She loves it when her colour is a favourite colour. <laughs> Lip glow. Um, so there, that. We, do we think that one works? Really lovely. You've made it work so well. And nice and fresh with a pop of Lila. And the final thing is, would we just full on print clash with the bag? <laughs> we would. <laughs> we would, wouldn't we? We'd just like go down there. Last but not least is a little bit of leopard. Now you shouldn't ever feel scared, I think, Jemima, with leopard that you can do it together. And I do it together endlessly, but I do leopard in the winter more than in the summer. This is like very old Zara. I would say with leopard, as long as the colors of the leopard are identical, I don't mind the size of the print is different. It's the one time I'll break the rule about size of print. I think it's such a classic, isn't it? It's such a classic. And for many women, you know, leopard is a classic. I never think is leopard in season or not. It's a classic. It should go with your navy blazer and your black coat and your you know, a pair of jeans. Absolutely. So darling, that's it for this week. Um, and what are we gonna do? What have we got on offer for the next few weeks? I would like to see some occasion dressing. Yes. There's lots of summer weddings happening. Yes. Um, but maybe we could go down the jumpsuit route instead. We could do jumpsuits. I feel that some of my jumpsuits don't fit me anymore. So I'm nervous to do jumpsuits at the moment. Occasion dressing, I think, through my closet confessions, I've done so many little things about occasions, so I'm, we could pull them all together. Yes, um, please. Okay, oh. until next week. Thanks, Bye. Judy. Bye. Bye.